Well, I've been a huge fan of Roberts for many years since The Witch, uh, and uh, I knew that this uh, that this film was happening, and and uh, then all of a sudden, my agent uh, sent me an email with some sides, and I was like, "Whoa, I, I this is a Robert Eggers movie, and I really want to get this right." So, just started prepping, and I found some old fur. Uh, in my flat that I put on and I tried to <laughs> look like a Viking as best as I could. And, and so I put my cell phone tape and I sent it away. And and then like a couple of days later, I had this Zoom call with Robert and then I got to read the script and and it's just uh, amazing. And um, of course I was immediately on board. I would do anything on a Robert Eggers film. I would, I would, uh, yeah, I would do anything on one of his films and for and getting to play like a uh, like one of the one of the characters uh, it's 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 a dream thor is the eldest son of fjolnir and amlet's cousin and he is when we meet him in the film he's been given this task to to travel to norway and meet the king and become a slave trader and uh, it's a very honorable task uh, for him and I think he, uh, he has this very youthful and impulsive side to him, uh, like an underlying rage and frustration to prove himself. And, um, and I think that's very interesting to, to get into portray this young man in this time, time in history. I've had so much fun, like developing this character in collaboration with, and collaborating with Robert on creating this character because we've uh, had quite a lot of conversations about like how Thor might be the only Viking in this movie who gets to have a little bit of like you can't sit with us attitude <laughs> and uh, and um, Sh Thor always shows up to the party with the most extravagant outfits and with a lot of jewelry and hats and and so on and uh, it's been so much fun He has uh, a lot of respect for his father, Fjolnir, and, um, and, but he still feels that Fjolnir always, always like keeps watch over him and, 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 and makes, makes sure that he doesn't blow the opportunities he's, uh, he's being given. And um, he, um, there's always this thing about like how everybody knows that his father Killed his brother, killed his brother, and took his wife, and then lost his his kingdom to the Norwegian king, and they had to move to this little farm. So I think he has a there's a an element of like feeling a little bit protective of the family and uh, the family's honor in a sense. The mere presence of Amleth, thing, I think that's a huge. Uh, moment of element of irritation for for Thor. I mean, me as uh, as a guy, I'm, I'm maybe I'm not I, I'm not as uh, like just like physically the the appearance of of Aleth. I think he's just like a walking reminder to Thor, like how he's not the perfect Viking and how he how he's not like uh, perfectly suitable for for the for the task that's uh, lies before him. And um, of course, Aleth. Amleth is just a slave to Thor, but, and he's using him as like a chess piece in his, in his, uh, that's his turf. And Amleth is like, might be a valuable asset for him. And, um, but I think he, as the story, story uh, uh, evolves and unfolds, he, uh, he starts seeing potential in, in Amleth for, and, and an opportunity for him to, to take advantage of him, I think. I've always uh, been very physical and I've done a lot of like boxing and martial arts and Thai boxing and so on. And that proved to be very um, useful in the, uh, in the prep for, for my, I mean, I have this sort of sequence with, with uh, where Thor fights his best friends and practicing for future fights but just the footwork of it and uh, just prepping for that was so much fun. And, and, uh, and just, it was just so much fun. And Cece, our lovely stunt coordinator, 
is such a lovely man and a patient master <laughs> who uh, who guided us all through it. And uh, it was a blast. And just like that being said, it's just like getting to wield a sword and and scream with rage and having a shield and all of those things. It's just, it's a, it's a dream come true. I wouldn't lie to say anything else.